Welcome back to Tech Tutorials for Teachers. Today's resource is Kami. And before I hop into how to use it and the different features that it has, I just wanna talk about why you would use it in the classroom. This is a resource to help you move from paper to digital feedback for your students. Especially with COVID going on and a lot of schools are being digital, we can't give that feedback and markups that we would usually do on paper for students. And so this is a good resource to help you take a PDF or a document that students submit online and mark it up like you would usually on paper in your computer. If that sounds interesting, let's go ahead and hop into the different features that it has. Once you log in to Kami, this is the page it's going to bring you to. Um, this is kind of the home page. If you'd like to go back to where you were where you signed in, you can click the logo up here. If you want to upgrade to the premium version, then you can click this button here. And they also have the option to upgrade here, as well as some other profile settings. And then you can open a file this way, help menu, and then the menu with a few options that are also over here. The OCR and split and merge is gonna help you edit your scanned PDF. The OCR is gonna clean it up, make it a little more digital, um, make it look a little better than just a picture or a scanned document of a piece of paper. So if you wanna clean up your PDF, you can use OCR. If you'd like to take multiple documents and put them into one or one document and make them multiple, you can use the split and merge feature. Um, both of those are basically to clean up and resize your PDFs. If you'd like to start um, a new file, you can click Google Drive and bring it in from your Google Drive or you can click computer and download it from there. You can also start a blank page, and this is basically if you want to go from scratch, create a new document like you would on Google Docs, but then also have some of the functions of Kami inside of that, you can start new blank. And then this is a, all your recents will show up here. I'm gonna click this one just to show you some of the features. If we start at the top left in the move, this is again how you get to that main page where you first signed in. This is how you can upgrade. Um, this is the toolbar sidebar. So this is, um, you can see all of your comments here um, in a brief outline. And then the, these are the pages that you have. And then you can add files that way. You can also search and find a document. If you have multiple lined up, you can do that. This is how you can get to your Google Drive, and then this is how you can rename it. So if we rename this to what it actually is about, and then click away, then it'll save the name automatically. You can zoom in and out of your document by using the plus and minus sign, or you can click one of the already loaded sizes and zoom options. You can also open a file, share your document, print, save, or download. And then these are the same as the page we were on before. If we look at the toolbar over here, you can move it from left where we are right now to right by clicking over on these. And then if you'd like to collapse the toolbar, then you can just hit these arrows and make it a little slimmer over on the side. If we start at the top, this is your select so just like you would any other text, you can select and then do different things with it, like copy, paste, and delete. This is your hand tool. And so if you have a physical mouse instead of a trackpad like a laptop, this is how you're gonna move your document up and down. You click the left click, hold it, and then move your document up and down. If you have a trackpad on a laptop, then you can simply use two fingers and move move your document up and down that way. This is how you can select annotations. Um, again, you just select it like that, but if you had some, then they would pop up and some settings would pop up. These ones are some of the premium features that you need to upgrade for. The dictionary, text-to-speech, this is how it'll read a text to you. The equation, images and a signature those are all premium features so you can upgrade if you'd like to use those but they're all pretty self-explanatory um, if you'd like those just upgrade another premium feature is adding multiple pages so if you want more than one page in this document then you'll need to upgrade to the premium version in the order to do that
if we keep going along with the um, free version, then we'll start with the text highlighter. The way you do this is left click, drag, and hold. And then whenever you lift up that left click, then it'll highlight whatever you have highlighted. And so it just highlights whatever color you have selected down here. If I select red and highlight, let go, it'll do red. This is box highlighter. So if you have a big portion that you'd like to highlight, you can do a big box like that and shrink it. Again, left click and hold. Once you release, it'll do the highlight. This is how you can strike through. And so again, whatever color you have selected down here will be the what it strikes through. So again, if you highlight, and left click, hold, release, it'll strike through. And then this is underline. And so you, it's all, it all goes the same way. You just left click, hold, and then release to make it happen. If you hover over each of the different things, you can um, pop up some of these settings. So as you see, this one's underlined, and it's the same thing for highlight, strike through. Um, you can go up here and change the color of whatever you're doing. You can copy and paste. You can add a comment on that specific highlighted portion. Or you can delete it. And so if you go here, hover over, delete. And then this just says who it is. So if you have a shared document with multiple people working on it, then it just tells you who highlighted it. And it'll also help the students know that um, you're the teacher that marked it up and it wasn't another student or something like that. I'm going to delete these just so they get out of my way. For the box, you have a few more settings. You can do a fill and an outline color. Then you can move it around like this. Um, the fill is... This, this is just the size of the box and then the percent percentage of it. And then again, delete. The next one we have is a comment. So if you don't want to um, go through the highlight section, you can just do this and then leave a comment over to the side. This is another premium function where you can speak and it'll put it into text. If you'd like to do voice typing, just upgrade to the premium version. Um, these are a few more of the premium features like voice comment, like we just said, a video comment, and then a screen capture. If you'd like to use those, you can upgrade. A text box is if you have multiple comments, you can just click anywhere and then start typing your comments for the student. And then if you hit this red X, it'll change it. You have, you can't change the, the font because of the free version. You can only use Times New Roman, but if you'd like multiple, um, fonts then you can upgrade you can change the size and the point and then you can also bold italic underline all of the other features like that and then if you click away all that bar will go away if you'd like to get rid of it you can click the red x you can also pick which color you want your text and the font size this way before you start typing the next feature is drawing um, this is good for math and changing the functions or whatever your student's doing in math, you just hold your left click or move your mouse around and draw those. I can undo by going up here and clicking undo. Next you have shapes. If you want to insert shapes or a line, you can do that here. And then you have an eraser. You can erase annotations or you can erase drawings and shapes. So those are all of the um, free features that Kami comes with. Again, if you want to get these other features, you can upgrade to premium and your school might have a coupon or have the premium version for you to use. If you'd like to get information before you upgrade, all you have to do is click on um, one of the premium features and it'll show you a little video about that feature to see if you want to upgrade to it. You can also start a free trial if you don't want to try some of these features, but you're not sure if you want to pay um, the actual pro plan, then you can start a free trial. But if you're interested in any of these, I would check out the videos that they have posted before you upgrade just to see if you think it's worth it. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this or thought it was interesting, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or comments, just leave those below. 
Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.